So guys, welcome back. And um, recently I made a video about the pros and cons on shooting with continuous light. Just to give you a little background of myself. Um, I have been shooting for more than a decade already. And I'm, I've been shooting with strobes all the time. I started shooting a lot of different genres, but I, I ended up sh uh, shooting portraits and fashion because that's what I like. That's uh, where I'm more, um, uh, I mean, in tune or, or I like it and I can relate it much in terms of uh, genre of shooting. So therefore, I started shooting with strobes. And back then, there was no um, continuous light available that's as strong as what's available right now. And um, also the continuous light before has no option to attach Bowen's amount light modifier. So um, obviously I started with a lot of strokes. I, I depend a lot on all of my shooting using strokes. So more than a decade of shooting strobe, I'm really not uh, so much into continuous light. Um, I'm not against it, but, but it's not something that I can use. And, and recently in a past video, I, I explained to you that I've been doing continuous light and in fact, I mentioned to you that I was shooting an, an entire uh, ad campaign using continuous light. So it's something that, uh, it's it, the confidence of me shooting continuous light is kind of getting a lot better. I'm more confident shooting continuous light. So recently, I'm, I've been thinking of how can I use continuous light That's, that you cannot perform or you cannot do using uh, strobe lights. And there is one thing that strobe lights cannot produce. It is being able to use your shutter speed as part of your exposure control in terms of uh, exposure triangle. And that I also mentioned in my last um, uh, vlog that with, with continuous light, now you can use your shutter speed as part of your exposure control. So since I was thinking, what can I do? What, what, what type of effect that I can do with continuous light uh, that I cannot uh, work with um, strobes? That one is the shallow uh, depth of field, that's one, right? Although you can still do that using strobe by you know adding some ND filters. But discovering that you can actually work with uh, shutter speed. So I decided, oh, why not apply some motion blur, which is something that shutter speed can control. So, and there's this one uh, YouTube photography tutorial that I've, I've seen, but this one is uh, shooting street photography and, and adding uh, motion blur to street photography. So I was so intrigued with that YouTube video. So, so I, I, I thought about that and I said, Maybe I can apply the same style of shooting inside the studio, shooting uh, like fashion editorial and working with motion blur. So, <clears throat> so I said, maybe I'll work with colors, maybe I'll work with um, uh, motion blur and all those uh, concepts uh, were all combined, uh, motion, blur, fashion editorial, all of those stuff. So I said to myself, maybe I'll try that. So. Me and my assistant, we, we did some sampling, we did some tests, and then, and then after a few trials, uh, we decided that maybe we can start you know, applying it to, the actual, to an actual model. So, now what do you do? You call on to your go-to favorite model. And yeah, I, we tested it, and in this vlog, I'm gonna be showing you the result. And then it's kinda exciting too, because when we were actually shooting it already, we cannot believe that it came out as, you know, what we imagined and, you know, what we thought we should get. I mean, the outcome was so, so, so amazing. So, I'm going to be using my computer. Uh, I'm, I'm using Capture One. So, uh, you guys, if uh, there's, there's a lot of features in the Capture One in terms of when you're, if, if you're a commercial, uh, professional photographer, I mean, Capture One is something that you should be working with. So. Uh, we tethered the camera, we took some shots, and uh, I'm going to be showing you the application, Capture One, where uh, I'll show you the photos. All right, so here we go. So, here at Capture One, uh, this is the first, uh, this one actually is the first shot that came out. 
uh, there's no model yet. And since I'm, be, I'm shooting one second, so you have to understand, when you're shooting in, in a slow shutter, you need to find out how long are you gonna keep the camera pointing to your model, and when do you slide. Either you slide to the left, or you slide to the right, okay? So when you do that, that sliding motion after you take, this, take the shot, because there's, there's one second for you to actually perform. So you take the shot, maybe about half of a second, and then the other half of the second, you move your camera away from the model. You can move away to the left, you can move away to the right. They all have different results. So, so in my case, I felt like to the left was uh, a lot better. And also the timing when you move is also very important. That actually affects a lot of things. So here in Capture One, this was the first shot with the model. And I felt like maybe I move it too soon and didn't really uh, stay with the model for half a second. So I did some adjustments. Uh, you would see that the model, uh, there's a motion there. And, and you have to understand that when you're shooting like this, the model shouldn't be moving. Like, uh, you set the model on a certain pose, and then you take the photo, half of a second, and then you move towards the left, okay? So, or to the right. So you have to divide the one second by half pointing to the model, half is where the motion is gonna be captured. So, in this image, uh, I'm, I'm trying to calibrate myself, finding how much should I be staying in the model, but, but the entire objective, the entire objective of this, um, photo shoot is I want to come out with something dreamy and a little bit trippy in a way so so motion adds a lot to a trippy or moody or um, uh, that type of uh, concept that I have so so here we have another shot and as I keep on finding that look and as the model is also um, you know getting the hang of it and we started to get really really good shots see uh, let me just put this in full screen there and and these are not uh, these are not Photoshop effects these are actual motion the movement the movement of the world so, so it's there's also some times that you're gonna miss so, so a lot of photos are missed but but the emotions the trippy feel uh, is, is already there uh, there, this is a really beautiful photo over here, and it's kind of cool because um, it's kind of cool because this is not something that you often do. Uh, and, and even myself, if you look at my portfolio, I'm always into sharp, you know, sometimes shooting at f8, very rare that I shoot at 1.2, but yeah, so this time around, I'm actually flipping a lot of you know, um, um, theories that I have now. I'm shooting blurry type of image so yeah these images are so good and I'm, I'm I'm really happy that it came out this way and like I've said there are some shots that are really not you know what you wish for or what you uh, had in mind but you just have to keep on shooting and then keep on finding that look and and you'll you'll end up with a lot of beautiful shots and very dreamy and uh, very you know, trippy and very editorial at the same time. So there you go, there, there. We actually, we were actually using uh, three lights here, two different color gels uh, on the left and the right side of the set and, and then one uh, continuous light again with a gobo pointing to the eyes of the model. So you would notice that in the shots on the eyes or in the face, there's always that like, uh, none there's always that non colored gel that you can see and and the model is also really good uh she's uh she's she's really good in, in terms of fashion i mean in fashion editorial type of photos she's really good so so it's really a combination of everything a combination of concept a combination of uh your model that's really fit for the concept and of course the photographer at the same time some some photos are just crazy and then really trippy and I, I love the vibe the vibe of shooting this type of images so I also did some uh, straight uh, I also did some straight um, 1.2 
uh, aperture uh, without any blur. I was shooting at around 1 over 125 or 200. So there's really no motion blur anymore and it kind of kind of look good too. Yeah. But the idea but the idea of 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 really trying to get out of your usual way of shooting is adding motion to it. This is something that I'm really excited and and you know uh, uh, the creative side of me is you know now I have another concept in mind in my next shoot and um, yeah it's gonna be something interesting and uh, exciting as I explore more on the uh, concept of continuous light. I actually did some few um, setup that I normally uh, do with my strobes and I tried now using my continuous light uh, let me find those photos for you uh, of course we didn't just shoot with this uh, uh, one concept since since my models already here so we also tried doing a lot of different concepts uh, we did this uh, this is uh, uh, we are trying to sell the necklace uh, uh, from a friend of ours and we also did uh, these are all these are all continuous light, by the way. Uh, we also did this. Uh, let me define a good, a good set over here. Let me look for it. Hold on. Over here. This one. We also did this, and these are all continuous light. Uh, still three continuous light. Uh, I, I also applied gobo in there. I, I did some wider shots over here. Let me find it for you. Here you are. So we also did this. And these are all continuous light. And, and I wanted it to be a little bit hard and a little bit more on the uh, uh, edge of fashion tutorial. It actually came out well. I, I really love it. And these are the normal type of lighting styles that I do when shooting fashion tutorials. And but I normally use strobes, but in this, uh, in this case, I'm using a continuous light. So, weird that I can all do this with my continuous light. Uh, let me show you another photo, uh, another set we did over here. We did, it's really nice. It's very, it's a bit hard and very fashion and editorial type of image. There you go, there. I like it. And I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, you know, find the, uh, I'm starting to find continuous light to be very exciting. So yeah, uh, that's it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can, you know, put in the comments, ask questions about my experience with shooting continuous light. I'd, I'd be very happy to answer your questions. And, uh, and if you have any suggestions as well, I'd, I'd love to hear it and maybe I can try it in my studio and, you know, uh, do another vlog about continuous light. But right now, I'm excited and uh, very interested about the next uh, shoot that I'm going to be doing uh, using continuous light. So, yeah, see you in my next vlog. Thank you. Bye.